All right, check this out. We are upgrading our fuel system to a mechanical fuel pump. So right now we have 2.2 gallon cell comes in to a 10 into a pre-filter, which is 100 micron into a magnet pump. That's wired directly here with a relay, eight gauge wire. Everything's beautiful. Straight to the battery, comes up around into this filter. This is a 10 micron filter. Comes out of there, 8A, this is 8 PTFE. So this is eight, you can see it looks small because it's PTFE. So that comes up into here, into 10 AN to 8 AN adapters, into the Speed Factory high flow fuel rail. It's the best flowing um, fuel rail on the market for these engines. Comes back into a 10 AN to 8 AN PTFE, into a 8 AN to 10 AN fitting eight back into the tank. So now we're going to, from Motion Raceworks, they have this hose, this AN line. It's called Fragula or Fraglio, I think. One of those two. And this is 12 AN, non-PTFE, but this is methanol safe, ethanol safe. Because the problem is, I'll show you what PTFE looks like with no end on it. Oh, here's some. Um, all right, so this is eight PTFE. That plastic in there is ethanol safe, but it makes the hose smaller. So if you can see here, we're going from that <laughs> to that. Big, huge difference. Huge difference. Even I have 10 AN over here too, because I was going to go 10 AN on some pieces, but even that, look at that. Ooh, a sucker. All right, so now you see what we have. This is what we're switching to. This is a Waterman 700 fuel pump. It does uh, like seven gallons a minute, and it is driven off of the cam right there. So this bolt will go into my timing cam, just like on this valve cover. So it's bolted right here. There's a cam right here, bolt comes out, that goes in, valve cover goes on, fuel pump goes on there. We're gonna fit it up and then we got we ordered a bunch of fittings. Those are from Australia. They'll be here, uh, I think tomorrow or the next day, which that's gonna be great. So then we can get this thing together. I might need more hose, but it'll get us started. So we're not going to need, you know, this relay anymore, the fuel pump, but I have to add, you'll see, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of fittings and mapping it out, how it's going to work correctly. And then we also are going to do a catch can. So I might be able to get lines that'll come over here into a catch can or into the car or something. And then we need to put an engine diaper on the bottom and Definitely want to put a catch can on it. Engine diaper. Oh, I got to fix the window still. I got to rivet that back in. That's the one that blew out at the track. But everything's good. I got the rivets out. Uh, there might be still one right there, but all good. That might even be good. It might hold the molding on because the window doesn't touch there. We'll see. We'll see about that. And everything inside I think is good. Um, that relay, or not that relay, that fuse over there, that breaker, right there, it says waterproof on it. We won't need that anymore. That's about it. So let's get started. We have to pull this valve cover off, the harness out of the way. And then we'll start test fitting stuff, see how everything works. We're gonna be running from 8 a.n. to 10 a.n. Or no, we're gonna run from 8 a.n. to 12 a.n. on both sides. And then these 6 a.n. ports, I think they are, we're gonna block those off, there's four of them. We're not gonna need those in our application. So we got these plugs, hopefully they'll work, ORB. And then I have 12 a.n. 
a 10 in. Oh, these are for the valve. Um, these are for the fuel rail. And then I have, these are for the fuel pump. That'll adapt it from the eight to a 12. And we're still waiting, like I said, on all of our, we got speed flow fittings from Australia. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I don't know if I completed that sentence, but speed flow fittings. So if you see, for example, this fitting, it gets smaller on the turn, right? And even on a straight, they get, or like even on like a 180, they get smaller. So the speed flow, I'll show you when I get one and compare it. It's going to be the same diameter circumference all the way down through the, the turn. So they should be a lot bigger and they flow a lot better. Check that out. The dates on it. This was made to order August 2024. 700 so i got the fittings in and then i blocked the other ones off so let's take that valve cover off Alrighty, i got the fittings in the fuel pump I got that valve cover off. I put it on the Acura, which is where it was in, uh, initially intended for when I first built this car. I ordered this valve cover. I took it to powder coating and it took forever. By the time it got here, I already moved on to this car. So it's finally going back there. This is a 17 millimeter bolt we have to pull out that holds the VTC gear, the adjustable uh, intake gear. We're putting this in, which allows the pump to slide into it. There's the old bolt. There's a new bolt. The new one's a little bit shorter. Wonder why. Hmm. That's sad. But I think we're gonna have to put the valve cover on first before we put the bolt in. At least that bracket won't fit. I don't know, let's try it. Something like that. All right, 
Sorry if you could hear the fan, but it's hot. Every time I shut it off, I start sweating. So we're gonna come out, same thing. We're gonna come into our filter, out of our filter. So once it comes out of there, it has to come from there to here. So input. So it's gonna come into here, probably maybe a 90, I'm thinking. 180 out, and it'd be nice to go from here to here, but I have to add that filter back in. So I might come out. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I really don't know what to do with that yet. So once my feed's in, that'll be good. And that's the only line I'm worried about is this one to that filter, because this I'm gonna do the exact same thing, and we're good. So I'm trying to figure out the catch can idea. So I have this little thing that adds fittings to the valve cover. And then I'm thinking catch can over here somewhere like that. And then we'll have our scoop still to get air into it. So we're no longer, we're going to try and make it as good as it look as good as possible, but we're going to have lines running everywhere now. But over there, there's going to be a bunch more lines, race car stuff, race car. We have to decide on what color to do with the valve cover. That's going to work out great. I put a screw in it for now just to see if it fits. And then we're going to have our fuel line that will run with this. So that should work out great. I already have the fittings from when it was on the Acura. So that's amazing. And then we still have this one. But we'll put the filter back on there for now. It doesn't have any blow-by, which is really good. But it's going to work out. Alrighty, so I had to order some shears to be able to cut this. And look how good it cut. This is the right side. Yeah, see it cut it really good. I don't have to use a grinder. It'll work really good. Beautiful. So I have to drain this fuel out and we might take off the intercooler so we have more room. But we're gonna start making some lines here. I'd order a couple more fittings, just one straight and some adapters, but we should good with everything we have. So hopefully this works out. I mean, look at the size difference right there between the old rail and the new rail fittings. I can stick my pinky in there almost all the way through. But those are gonna go in here. And one over here. And then we need something over here also. Alrighty, it's another day here. We're gonna start making some lines. We're gonna start with this one, a 45 to a straight. Look how big that is though. That is massive com ow, compared to the old ones. So my big vise is broken over here. So I can't use that. So I have this little one. I got it all set up. I got and um, aluminum things on it. We're gonna start with our 45 right here. Look how big that thing is, first of all. Look how big that is compared to like that style 45. Big difference. So one thing I'm noticing with this adapter here is these screws, these bolts go in, if you don't lose them. We 
these bolts go in. And they eventually bought them out, right? Because they hit the valve cover. And then when you put this on, it doesn't really fit correctly. So I'm drilling out. See, I got a pilot hole there. I'm gonna drill from the backside and ream that out so the bolt will actually seat all the way and push the o-ring in just like that so now the the bolt will fit through all righty i feel way better look at that it touches now before i swear there was a gap that was i don't know a couple 30 seconds if i knew thousands i would say it was a couple thousands a lot of a thousands <laughs> it wasn't good so it's not bolted on i don't have it tightened yet but that is way better. I feel a lot better about that. But just look at that thing. Pretty sweet. Alrighty, so this is what we're working with. We have our line coming up into our pump, out of our pump, into our filter, out of our filter, into the rail, out of the rail, the pressure regulator, out of there, fuel cell, and then our feed. I'm building that one right now. It's gonna come over to here. I had to order, of course, more hose. But besides that, we should be good to go. Maybe uh, start her up tonight. So I also got new hardware for the traction bar. It had this Chinese, I got one in my pocket. It had this crap in there. And you can see that she is done. So hopefully these fit. So I think I'm gonna try to uh, spin it over and see what happens. It's either gonna break the cam off or it's gonna build fuel pressure. I guess we should probably put some fuel in it and see how many leaks we have. testing see if we get a lick in uh, and see how our fuel does and then we'll go from there this is probably our last day of testing before we go to our shootout event our three-day event eduardo's on the way tuner's on the way dial in our fuel pressure and we'll go from there So we went 967 at 149, back on par with our, our best time. We got our best eighth mile to date, only by you know a couple thousandths, but 
everything helps, but I cannot stop. Cannot, cannot, cannot stop. Cannot stop.